SDR, Software Defined Radio Receivers, are one of the most disruptive and divisive technologies in ham radio since the move from tubes to transistors. It's not about whether SDRs work, they clearly do, but about what kind of radio they are and how they behave in the real RF world. With an SDR, some hams complain it's like operating a sound card, not a real radio. Anything wrong with preferring a traditional super heterodyne radio? Well, no, of course not. However, some hams have the idea that an SDR decides what you will hear, while super hats deliver a more honest signal. Let's say you prefer a Kenwood flagship radio because it's analog, a real radio. Well, note this from ON6URE in his RF.Guru article, Why I Don't Want an SDR Ham Radio is a Technical Dead End. Modern analog flagships already use DSP. High-end radios, often cited as pure analog, explicitly use digital IF filtering and multiple DSP stages. This is good engineering, but it makes the analog versus SDR purity argument meaningless. It's like saying my favorite drink is a margarita, but I don't like tequila. Well, how about an SDR decides what you're going to hear? Well, superheads decide all the time. IF filters decide what gets through. AGC controls gain behavior. Detectors decide how RF becomes audio. The difference is often fixed hardware versus adjustable digital hardware. Don't like the sound of digital noise reduction? Well, turn it off. Now, if you like your traditional radio, we'll keep it. But filtering and detection in a superhead always shapes a signal. Remember, when you bought a transceiver and you were a really serious CW operator, you had to purchase a, a CW crystal bandwidth filter for around $100. You know, I always thought that was a ripoff. It should have been included. Well, now those filters are digital and included. This really cheap USDX transceiver has several selectable bandwidth filters, and they work. I will never buy another rig that needs crystal bandwidth filters. Reminds me of the still raging battle between audiophiles, analog versus digital. Now, the analog guys, with a lot of money, will buy $40,000 turntables and cling to their vinyl LPs. They say it's more pure than digital. You know, right from the master tape to the disc cutter and then to the presses. Without digital audio, we would not have streaming music like Spotify and Apple Music. I mean, which really makes more sense, analog or digital audio? Most recording studios don't use analog tape anymore. Well, why not? Digital's better technology. Trying to fight SDRs like back when hams complained that single sideband is terrible because it doesn't sound as good as AM. Well, it doesn't. But how many hams use AM? It's still there on many transceivers. <laughs> Even this cheap little thing has AM. But SSB is clearly preferred for technical reasons. Same thing's happening to receiver technology. You know, it's ironic that ham radio operators down through history often oppose technical advancement. Consider subscribing to this channel. Ring the bell for updates in 73.